Okay, in the last um, couple of videos, we looked at uh, equations, uh, uh, not equations, but rather graphs, and we were just kind of reading off the asymptote information from that. Now, that's great and fine if you have pictures, but most often you're not going to have a picture. So we're going to have to figure out ways to um, understand about asymptotes if we just have an equation or a function. So here we're going to find the vertical, horizontal, and oblique asymptotes, if any, of each rational function. Okay, there are, we're going to look at this as cases. There are actually three cases that we're going to talk about. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and do the vertical asymptote because we already know how to take care of that. Our vertical asymptote is what happens when the function is in lowest terms and then we look at the denominator. So because this function cannot be reduced down any, we can't factor and simplify, then this denominator, if x were a 6, we would have a 0 denominator. So an x value of 6 is actually our vertical asymptote. As far as horizontal and oblique, we need to look at the powers of x on top and bottom. Here, this is an x to the first power on top and an x to the first power on bottom. The highest powers of x are the same in the numerator and the denominator. When that happens, we always have a horizontal asymptote at the ratio of the coefficients. Now I know that that sounds a little bit complicated, but if you think about it, it's not too bad. Ratio means, um, you know, like, um, 3 over 5. That's a ratio, right? You're talking about basically a fraction of the coefficients. Well, the coefficients are the numbers uh, in front of the variables. So really, that's not too bad, technically, whenever we think about it. We're talking about having a horizontal asymptote at the ratio or the fraction of the coefficients, the numbers in front of the x's. So in this case, we'll have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 over 1, which is just y equals 3. That's not too bad. Now, what happens if, uh, and we're not going to do the vertical asymptote on this one, we'll just focus on the horizontal and obliques. What happens if the power is larger on bottom? In this case, our highest power of x on top is a 2, and our highest power of x on bottom is a 3. When this happens, we always have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 every single time. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. There we go. Now the other case, I mean, if you think about it, we only have three different possibilities. We talked about either the powers are the same on top and bottom, or the, powers, uh, the power on bottom is bigger. The only other possibility would be if the power on top was larger. In this case, we actually have an oblique asymptote at the quotient, ignoring the remainder. Write that down real quickly. Now because we are running out of time, I only have less than a minute, there's no way that I'm going to be able to do this, um, this division um, in that time. So we'll pick back up in the next video. But just keep in mind that be because we have these three cases, this is why we'll never have horizontals and obliques at the same time. It must fall into one of those three categories. There's no way that it could fall into a category of horizontals and obliques at the exact same time. We either have to have the same power, or it has to be larger on bottom, or it has to be larger on top, the power of x.